Hello, this is your boy Nathan here, and you're watching Robot Masters. So, I'm holding both the LG Quad Zero R9 and the Roborock S6. In this video, we're going to test the navigation abilities, but this isn't just any navigation test. This is how well these sensors can pick up various objects. We're going to test thin objects like chair legs, we're also going to test glass objects, and also soda cans. And we'll see if these sensors can pick them up. So stay tuned for this awesome navigation test. Okay, so the LG Quad Zero is up first. Um, LG's been making several robot vacuums lately. They made the LG HomeBot, then they made the LG HomeBot Turbo, which was the latest lineup. Both those robots were square robots with side brushes. And this is LG's latest robot, the Quad R9, which doesn't have a side brush. It actually just relies on suction power to remove the debris from the edges and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that in a later video but you can clearly see that the LG does a really good job avoiding the thin chair legs it also avoids the fridge doesn't touch the fridge and my fridge is black so this is probably one of the best sensors out there for robot vacuums uh, it can pick up literally everything in its path uh, it doesn't matter if it's clear black small large it picks up everything so a lot of you have been asking a lot of great questions about the LG and I've been trying to give you guys all the answers. Unfortunately, I don't know what the airflow is for this guy. Uh, I searched high and low on the internet and there's not much information. I do know the battery life, which is 90 minutes on normal mode, also it has a 5300 milliamp hour battery. This is one of the few robots that allows you to access the camera's live video feed. Great for a security robot. And I'll be honest with you, I did buy this robot personally uh, because I wanted to use it as a security robot. And if you don't know, I am a robot fanatic and I do buy and own all my robots. I don't have companies send them out, which would be nice though. If anyone's offering to send me a free robot, that'd be great. But here's where the LG could use some work. It did bump into the chair leg slightly and it was going to finish up the obstacle course but decided to do this loop around and go the other way. So LG can always fix the navigation algorithms. They did this with the Roomba S9 with iRobot. iRobot was able to really overhaul the S9 through softwares and now my S9 can vacuum high profile carpet, can navigate efficiently and not run into things at full speed. So it looks like the LG's done and completed its course. Let's go ahead and check out the Roborock S6 and see how well it does. Okay, so the Roblox S6 has two main sensors. It has a spinning LiDAR sensor that spins 360 degrees. Also has a forward-facing infrared sensor. I don't care for these types of sensors because they struggle with thin chair legs. Also, these sensors struggle with glass objects and black objects. I kind of wish companies would go towards a sonar sensor or at least a vision camera sensor so they could pick up these types of objects. But I do like the LiDAR sensor on the S6. They're really good at picking up most objects and it's a very efficient navigating cleaner. Okay, uh, Roborock has six. You kind of cheated. They're not supposed to go through the chair legs. You're supposed to go around them. But oh well, I still like you as a robot. Okay, here's part two. We got soda cans, some water bottles, and we also have some clear glasses. So both the LG and Roblox S6 will spin 360 degrees if they don't know the location. The LG does this every time and the Roblox S6 will only do that if it thinks it was physically moved. 
the LG has no problem seeing these glass objects. The vision camera and laser system is a really great combination. So hopefully in the future, companies will kind of take note of the LG and provide this combination. So I know Xiaomi came out with the robot vacuum called the 1S. It had both a LiDAR sensor and a camera sensor, but unfortunately the camera is kind of positioned up towards the ceiling. So it's really designed for room dividing and recognizing doorways so it helps create a more accurate map. So notice the position on the LG's camera. It's kind of more forward facing. So this does recognize objects and it also can recognize people. So let's say you stand in front of the robot, it will kindly tell you to step aside. Okay, so it didn't move the glasses. Let's see how well it does with a little bit smaller objects. I purposely chose these protein drinks because they sit a little bit lower than what the camera can see. But since this has both a camera and laser system, the laser system was able to detect these objects as well. And if all else fails, the robot does have a physical bump sensor. Both the LG and S6 have a physical bump sensor. So I've only had this LG for what, a week now, two weeks, and I really do like the vacuum cleaner as itself. It is a pretty efficient vacuum cleaner. It does pick up fairly large debris. It did struggle on the cereal test, but I suspect there's a little too much cereal. But my next challenge is going to be a powder test. I'm going to test it both on hardwood floors and on carpeting and see how much powder the LG can pick up. I might have it compete with the Roomba S9. My S9 is the most powerful vacuum I own at 22 CFM. So what do you guys think? How is the LG doing? I think it did pretty good. Didn't touch any of the glass objects, didn't touch the water bottles, didn't touch any of the cans. It did really nice job. Just it's a little bit slower than what the S6 can navigate on, but I think it's good enough to get the job done. So next up, we got the last challenge, the Roblox S6. We'll see how well it can navigate this obstacle course, especially with the glass objects. So if you like these types of videos, please smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan, and I do a lot of crazy robot challenges, overviews, unboxings. I also get new robot vacuums on this channel. I just recently got the LG Core Zero R9, as you can clearly see. But I'm also in the process of getting the Dyson Hewis, which is Dyson's latest robot vacuum. I actually have to buy the robot vacuum from Canada's website. Anyways, I also have a highly requested robot vacuum coming too, called the Roomba E5. Okay, let's jump back to the Roblox S6. So in the beginning, it didn't do so well. It kind of busted through the glass barrier, also knocked over a tea bottle. But we'll see how well it does with the soda cans and the protein shakes. Looks like it was able to navigate around the water bottles and the soda cans, the LiDAR sensor is able to detect no problem. So I appreciate you watching this video and you guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.